What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how to add motion blur to your animations inside of Premiere Pro. Most people will go to After Effects for this, but you actually don't need to, and for a lot of my workflow, being able to do this in Premiere saves me a whole lot of time. So if you're like me and you want to save some time, let's go ahead and learn how to do this. But before we dive in, I want to say thanks to today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a music licensing company with a huge library of music and sound effects, over 35,000 music tracks and 90,000 sound effects. They offer multiple pricing plans from a personal plan all the way up to a commercial plan where you can get clearance to use your music for any of the projects that you need. By using Epidemic Sound, you don't have to worry about your videos getting demonetized on YouTube or other social platforms. Epidemic Sound is integrated with those platforms to help make sure that that doesn't happen. So if you guys are interested in checking out Epidemic Sound, you can click the link down below to get a free 30 day trial. So if you're interested in leveling up your music or sound effect game, make sure to click the link down below. And thanks again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. So let's get right into it. I've got this lower third right here that's animating on. And as you can see, there's no motion blur. If we go frame by frame, this is a completely solid, no motion blur, nothing's happening. But now if I go to the layer below, and I go frame by frame, you'll notice it's blurring in as it comes and as it comes to a stop, it becomes more visible. And this is honestly really easy to do inside of Premiere. I'm gonna go back to this first layer right here. I'm gonna delete the effect. All right, so you're gonna come up to your effects panel and then you're gonna search for transform and you're gonna drag this onto your layer. Come back and what you're gonna notice is transform gives you all of the same controls as motion normally does. So you've got your anchor point, position, scale. You do get a few extras like skew and skew axis. But the thing we're gonna take note of here is the shutter angle. So leave this set to use composition shutter angle. And then I generally like to set this to 200. You can mess with this number to add or reduce the motion blur, but 200 is always what I use and I find that it works great. Other than that, you don't have to change anything. From here, you just set your keyframes and it will add motion blur. So I'm gonna keyframe the position here. So I'm gonna slide this off the screen. I'm gonna go about 14 frames forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we're gonna animate this back onto the screen. And then from here, I'm going to temporal interpolation, auto bezier just so I can get my graph controls. Now I'm gonna add just a nice little smooth graph for this. And now if we play it back, we've got motion blur. And as it comes to a stop, it comes back and there's no motion blur. So let's play back. That's actually happening just a little too fast for me. Better, much, much better. So this is how you can add motion blur to anything that you're animating inside of Premiere. If you are messing with the scale, it will affect the scale, rotation, anything. Now, the only thing to be aware of, if you're working inside of the Essential Graphics panel, you need to make sure that this transform effect is above all of the layers that you are animating. If I were to put this below the text, watch what's gonna happen here. If I play this back, nothing happens to the text layer. It's only happening to the shape layer. But now if I go ahead and drag this back above the text layer, the text layer will move as well. So just make sure this is above all of your layers. You guys have probably actually seen me use something like this in pretty much all of my tutorials. I have these effects that I've already saved where I can do slide in and we'll do slide in from left to right. And this is just a preset that I made with the transform effect and this will slide anything from off screen onto screen. So if I have text or another video that I want to slide onto screen, I just did that with the transform effect. So we've got transform and then I made my keyframes, shutter angle is 200 and it just adds some motion blur when my stuff slides on screen. This just helps make your animated graphics feel a lot more alive and a lot less stale, especially when you add in some Bezier curves. So there you guys go. That is how you can add motion blur to your graphics inside of Premiere Pro. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know.